hier ist der Stevie vom Metal Franconia Podcast für feiersuch.de und ich sitze hier mit äh, Fursi. Hallo. Fursi von äh, Le Discret. Le Discret. Le Discret. So, Fursi, uh, your, ba your uh, band is very young, so mm -hmm. not. Uh, uh, have, have, so Please tell me things about your band. What, what, what was the reason to make that band? Okay, um, uh, between 2003 and 2009, uh, I composed a lot of songs. Uh, me, uh, besides my uh, studies, uh, studies and my work, the first years of working, and um, I, I decided to to create Lady Scrap for um, actually. To uh, complete um, what I'm trying to explain and to develop um, artistically with my films and my uh, illustrations, so um, Ladies Cray is actually a kind of platform. It's it's a name, a label, uh, in which I'm I am making uh, music, animated films and uh, cover artworks and illustration for bands. So. Um, it's like a wall art um, purpose, you know, like the artistic conception uh, um, in which I'm trying to use a lot of uh, medias and, and stuff to explain and to, 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 um, to tell what I have to tell. Yeah. And the, the album, I show it to the people, here is the album, it's uh, maybe a few days out. Since Monday. Since since Monday. Yeah. Since today. No, uh, Monday. No. Monday for a week. Yeah. yeah. And uh, for this recordings, you are alone. Are you, you made this all recordings except the uh, drums. Yeah. 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 Okay. It was in a French studio uh, called uh, Drudenhaus Studio. Dr Drudenhaus, Drudenhaus. Yeah. Drudenhaus Studio. Um, it's the sound engineer is. Uh, Played in a band, in a French black metal band, uh, which was called Anorexia Nervosa. Uh -huh. He was uh, <laughs> he was the the, the keyboard, keyboard uh, yeah, and uh, he is now a sound engineer. And I think he recorded all the stuff of Anorexia, and uh, I am really, 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 f incredibly happy happy about um, the way of working, uh, the sound, the quality, his skills, uh, everything. It was just perfect. So your music is very uh, powerful and uh, have, uh, when, when I listen to the uh, album I Uh, feel the emotions, mm -hmm. what you uh, have for for that uh, baby, mm -hmm. said. and uh, what's your inspiration for for to make that music, or the, that uh, uh, kind of music? Yeah, um, uh, this album actually is uh, focused on three concepts, uh, three main main ideas, <coughs> which are uh, death, because uh, I'm really afraid of death. Uh, and um, the feeling of, of love, um, the, the state of mind in which uh, you are when you are in love, and um, besides uh, the, the fear of losing uh, the, the girl I love, you know. Yeah. Um, and this album speaks for the most about um, the possible life after death, um, in which Uh, lovers can be together again, and that's why in the art book, I, uh, with prophecy, we choose we choose them to make uh, to add the animated film, which is yeah. speaking about uh, the fact of lovers are can be together after the death, you know. And uh, the third point is about nature, uh, because well, it's quite a complex. Uh, Quite complex link, but um, if you are if you watch the film, which is on YouTube too, yeah. uh, you will be able to uh, to understand um, these th 
three points, you know, and to really uh, understand the link of all together. Yeah. in three words, which words would you choose so short? Uh, uh, dark. Dark? Yeah. Um, maybe, but it's a little bit pretentious, but we don't have to take it this way, but maybe sensitive. Uh, emotive. Emotive. Yeah. Emotive is the good word. Well, And uh, a guy of um, Andre, the bassist of Fjorgin, um, the first band of, mm -hmm. uh, who are playing with us for the Alsace tour, the bassist told me uh, that Ladies Cry is a, s a cinema for ears. Yeah. You know? So I would say uh, dark, emotive, and cinema for ears. So uh, the You, you said the first ideas for the band are uh, born in 2003. Mm -hmm. um, what do you uh, think about the last uh, years of the of the band of the project? Mm -hmm. And what do you think? Uh, uh, which way it goes in the next five years, maybe? Mm -hmm. um, now it's just uh, I think it's it became a little bit more serious. What I didn't expect it actually. Uh, it, because I, I really think that music can uh, really help me to, uh, to accomplish my artistic uh, purposes and artistic goals. So now it's, it's getting more serious and I'm really splitting my time in two. Uh, before it was, for example, 80, 80 or 90% of my time for animated films and <laughs> the rest for music now. I think it's uh, almost half of, you know, And I love making music and I love receiving such objects, you know. <laughs> so, so I think I will continue. But I will never stop animation and I will never stop music. So uh, uh, I need to wait for the second album to be released to, have, uh, to make uh, live. Because yeah. I would love to make live and I think it would be a music really uh, efficient live because it's really powerful and... and uh, And I think I uh, I will take a lot a lot of pleasure playing live. And I need to have a good set list, you know, because all the songs here are uh, some are acoustics, some are impossible to play because of strange tunings. Yeah. So um, and I think some of them work on an album, but not necessarily live. So I have to have uh, I need to have two albums at least to make. So good choices. Have, have this one material, could be yeah. good before this one, and mm -hmm. so that people, yeah, enjoy it too. Because I think the set list is the most important thing when you are playing live. So. So I uh, wish you the best luck with uh, with the um, Ladies Green. Thanks. And have a great show today yeah, with thank Alcest you. Thank you very playing much. and have fun on the rest of the tour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. We're finished now. <laughs>